Welcome to Bad Audiobooks on the TMBC Network, and brought to you by our they're so brilliant, I can't think of what I will call them supporters on Patreon. I'll start that over again. Welcome back. Welcome to Bad Audiobooks on the TMBC <laughs> Network. And brought just to you- keeping it. No. <laughs> our, our awesome supporters on no, Patreon. No, I was going to say literate. I was looking for the word literate, and I couldn't uh, think of it. So our literate... I want to keep all this. Okay, that's our literate fine. supporters on Patreon. Our literate supporters on Patreon. I'm Nick Masmanian, along with my co-host... Kent Heidelman. Thank Woo! you so much for listening to our parody show. Spring <laughs> break. About good books read badly. <laughs> So, oh, we have completely lost this intro. Oh, it's all bad. So what is coming off the shelf today? Today we'll be reading more to the Brothers Grimm, specifically the story, Little Red Riding Hood. It's a classic! <laughs> is it now? Have you heard of the story? I don't think I have. Okay. I have right. not seen a million Warner Brothers parodies of this, of this story. Maybe not. All right, so we'll just jump straight into it, because what is time? I don't know. Because this is a classic opener. Once upon a time, yeah, there was a dear little girl who lived, who lived, but she did live, but who was loved by everyone who looked at her, but most of all by her grandmother, and there was nothing that she would not have given the, to the child. Once she One gave, sentence. yes, <laughs> once she gave her a little cap of velvet red, which suited her so well that she would never wear anything else else but the thing stinks again because she's dead no um so she was always called little red riding hood (laughs) coming this summer (laughs) directed by michael bay one day her mother said to her come little red riding hood here's a piece of cake and a bottle of wine (laughs) oh my god (laughs) Keep going. Let's have a good time and party. <laughs> Take them to your grandmother. For she's a a drunk. And uh, is ill and weak. And obviously wine helps with that. The doctor always subscribes me three cc's of wine. And they will do her good. More? Okay, you keep uh, going. Sit out before it gets hot. <laughs> and when you are going, walk nicely and go. Why? This advice is fucked up. This mom is so overbearing. She's telling her how to walk. Don't walk mean. Don't walk... Sh- but mother, I just want to walk. No! <laughs> you can't just walk. I just want to walk. No! You must You must walk nicely and uh, quietly. Anyway. And do not run off the path. There you go. Or you may fall and break the bottle. And then your grandmother will get nothing. You clumsy <laughs> fool! Like We understand what happens if the bottle breaks. <laughs> yeah, and, then- and when you go into her room... Don't forget to say, good morning, and don't peep into every corner before you do. (laughs) Jesus. And don't go to the bathroom. (laughs) Make sure you wash your hands. (laughs) And do the dishes. I will take And leave the key under the mat. I will take great care, said Little Red Riding Hood to her mother Mm -hmm. and gave her hand on it. She should cut her hand off. I think that means they shook hands. Or they could have cut her hand off. It's Brothers Grimm, man. It's the usual, you yeah. know, I always have business relations with my parents when I'm a to- toddler. Yes, indeed. We will seal this agreement upon me using the potty. Let us shake hands. Let's shake hands on it. and make Now it wipe my bottom. Yes. Good day, sir. <laughs> Go upstairs and play, Charles. We're tired of hearing from you. The grandmother. The grandmother. Hang on. <clears throat> Gotta get back Gotta get into my narrative voice. Gotta get my narrative voice back. Gotta get my narrative voice on, girl. The grandmother lived out in the wood, half a league from the village, and just a little and just as Little Red Riding Hood entered the wood, a wolf met her. We're jumping right into it. Yeah. We're going. This is the first time there was gonna be like a build up of this these incredible woods, but this is grim. This This is grim narrating. Thank God. We're jumping right into it. Thank God. Red Riding Hood did not know what a wicked creature he was, and was not at all afraid of him. Good day. Little Red Riding Hood, he said he. Thank you kindly, Wolf. Whither away so early, Little Red Riding Hood? To my grandmother's. What have you got in your apron? Cake oh, and... Weird. What? What have you got in that apron? <laughs> Show me! <laughs> Damn, the wolf's so just like, I want everything. 
cake and wine. <laughs> Yesterday was baking day. So poor sick grandmother is to have something good to make her stronger. Wine and bread does the constitution. You know what? I've been listening to uh, this podcast will kill you. Medical science makes zero sense up until like the maybe early 1900s. Maybe. If a crow flies southeast, it means you're going to have a bad Sunday. It means you're going to lose your left testicle. The point is, it it's just, it, it was like booze will fix everything. Booze and bread. That was literally the It made me feel better. Yeah, exactly. So, um. I must <clears throat> drink more. Uh, Where does your grandmother live, little Red Riding Hood? <laughs> the guy's getting so more increasingly British. A good quarter of a league farther in, on the wood. Her house stands under the large, under the three large oak trees. The nut trees mm-hmm. are just below. Mm-hmm. Surely you must know it, replied little Red Riding Hood. You know, three trees? You know that, right, in the forest? Well, you know, when you live in the forest, everything can kind of be dissimilar. You might have locate like ideas of where things could be. I know the two trees, the five trees, the three trees. Yeah, yeah you see, yeah. you go down half a mile, you make a right past the snowman. Then, and then you go <laughs> keep going for another quarter of a mile, and then you make a left past a windmill that's missing three fans on it. That's like one. <laughs> Don't they usually have four? <laughs> that's a, that's the farm, <laughs> the farm has fallen into hard times. <laughs> okay. The wolf thought to himself, What a tender young creature! What a nice, plump mouthful! She will be better to eat than the old woman. I must act craftily, so as to catch both. So he walked for a short time, by the side of a little red riding hood. and chilling. Yeah, I guess he's just cruising with her. And Stop. then, and notice he did not ask. And then he said... <laughs> See, little red riding hood, how pretty the flowers are about here. Why do you not look around? <laughs> I believe, too, that you do not hear how sweetly the little birds are singing. You walk gravely along as if you were going to school while everything else out here in the wood is merry. <coughs> huh. I don't know what to... No, that, that, uh, that... That's a that's a dialogue. Low Red Riding Hood raised her eyes. Monologue. Yeah, there you go. That's the <laughs> word. I couldn't say literate earlier, so th- this bodes well for this episode. And when she saw the sunbeams dancing here and there through the trees and pretty flowers growing everywhere, she thought, Suppose I take Grandmother a fresh nosegay. Nosegay. Nosegay? Everyone loves a good nosegay. I, th- I mean, I just first thing I do in the morning is nosegay. I nose gay all day long. I need to nose gay right now. I must nose gay. I like how just saying the fact, doesn't that metal look really fun? Oh, no. (laughs) Yes, I'm enchanted by it. That would please her, too. It is so early in the day that I shall still get there in good time. (laughs) And so she ran. Wait. Oh, oh, okay. They didn't really use a, a great... Well, I mean, there's end of quotation, and then we got a semicolon, which, as we all know, semicolons are the way of saying you went to college when you wrote this story. And so she ran from the path into the wood to look for flowers. And whenever she had picked one, she fancied that she saw a still prettier one further on and ran after it and so got deeper and deeper into the wood. Ooh, another pretty one. Ooh, another pretty one. Ooh, piece of piece of flower. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, piece of flower. There you go. Meanwhile, the wolf ran straight to grandmother's house and knocked on the door. Oh, okay. I'll uh, I'll do this. I'll do the grandma. Yeah, you do. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Who's there? Little Red Riding Hood replied. The wolf. <laughs> She's bringing cake and wine. Oh, okay. I, I, I thought he was pretending to be her. Yeah, okay. I think that's what she... Uh, th- she is bringing cake and wine. What? Open the door! Why do you refer to yourself as a third person, child? <laughs> Did Lift- grandma teach you better than that? <laughs> Lift the latch, called, the gran- called out the grandmother. I am too weak and cannot get up. The Isn't wolf that- lifted the latch. Mm. What? It's like asking someone to unlock the door from the outside yeah there's literally no reason for him to ever ask to to address anything he should just barged in ate her 
and be done. There was no reason to even have this dialogue. Yeah, no conversation necessary. Nope. There's this book lacked I'm, editing. I'm here. Massive murder. amounts of editing. The wolf lifted the hat. The lifted the latch. <laughs> the door flew open, and without saying a word, he went straight to the mother's bed and grand devoured grand, her. Grandmother's bed. Oh, into the grand. It went straight into the grandmother's bed and devoured her. <laughs> he will need an, an acids. <laughs> Then he put on her clothes, dressed himself in her Ooh. cap, laid Ooh. himself in the bed, and drew the curtains. He's fulfilling that dream he's always had. I mean, he's living his truth. Yeah, I know. I was about to say, right? Mm-hmm. There you go. Just It had to involve the death of an old woman, but still, living his truth. <laughs> Little Red Riding Hood, however, had been running about picking flowers, and when she had gathered so many... That she could carry no more, she remembered her grandmother and set out the way to her. She was surprised to find the cottage door standing open. Oh. And when she <laughs> and when she went to, in the room, she had a strange feeling that she had said to herself, "Oh dear, how uneasy I feel today." And at other times, I like being with grandmother so much. She what called out. The fuck. She called because that's what you say when you enter someone's house. Oh wait, no, no. The feelings that she said to herself. Okay, so this is internal monologuing. Yeah. Uh, she cried out, "Good morning," but received no answer. So she went to bed. She went to the bed and threw back the curtains. There w- lay her grandmother with her cap pulled far over her face. And looking very strange. Oh, grandmother, she said, what big ears you have. The better to hear you with, my child. But, grandmother, what big eyes you have, she said. The better to see you with, my dear. But, grandmother, what large hands you have. The better to hug you with. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my grandmother, what a terrible big mouth you have. The better to eat you with. <laughs> it felt like he gave up toward the end. He was just like, I'm running out of steam. <laughs> this, this, this conversation, this narrative is, is moot. Let us go to the feast. <laughs> And scarcely had the wolf said this, then with one bound he was out of bed and swallowed up Red Riding, ooh, Red Riding Hood. The end. I wish I could say, when the wolf. I, yeah, I'm fine with the story. Anyway. Yeah, right. When the wolf had appeased his appetite, he lay down again in the bed. I am appeased. Fell asleep and felt pretty, and began to snore very loud. Hang on, the huntsman was just passing the house. This is all the same paragraph. And thought to himself, How was the old woman? Oh, no. Do you want how me to do it? Th- <laughs> no, no. I got this, man. No, I'm just asking. I know how to read. Uh, okay. I'm just saying because, like, uh, pacing I'm seeing later on is going to be, like, back and forth. And you, you get- oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. Well, I'm going to stop you right there, Nick. That's a... This is really good stuff, but I think we're going to jump in here and let's do let's get this shiz paid for. We got, I'm about to say, somehow we have to pay for this, this show. Let's transition to some that sweet, sweet ad music. All right, Maz. Smooth. Nick, just the smoothest transition. The smoothest of transitions. For only the best for our listeners. We, we bring you high quality music and ads. Nick, I hear you've got a book. What book is it? I have a book. It is called Margot Flint and the Last Soldier. Ooh. It is a YA science fiction novel that you can buy today on Amazon. Uh, and what's it about? You don't even know that. You should just go get it. Okay. <laughs> I am That's an amazing pitch. marketer. <laughs> I know how to pitch a book. <laughs> so what do I do with this? Just buy it! <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> do it! Do it! Is that your pitch? No, it's a it's a YA science fiction book taking place gonna, in the far far future. That pitch. I was like, yeah, <laughs> you do that, you do you. It's like, go go on. Sorry, I I fail you. <laughs> if only I were stronger. Um, and this ad were shorter. <laughs> no, um, no, no, it'll be on forever. This ad. <laughs> the show just becomes this ad. <laughs> anyway, um. It, it, it's a YA short uh, science fiction story about a young girl named Margot and her AI companion Catcher as they set out to remap their broken world. 
Get it today on Amazon. Uh, Kent, I hear you have a comic. Yeah, I, I wrote a comic called Scariest and Screamforth. I'm the creator, the writer. I'm also the artist. I'm everything on that book. I did it all. And it's a, uh, it's also a YA. Uh, it's for kids that are uh, looking for a little spooky cute in their life, a little mystery. Mm -hmm. It's about three kid monsters in a monster town trying mm -hmm. to solve a mystery. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's pretty fun to read. You can read it for free on uh, scariestandscreamforth.com. Scariest in Screamforth, if I didn't make that clear. And today, we'd like to talk about our Patreon okay. levels. <laughs> Your P, what was it? P, yes, PBR? I, mm -hmm. always, I, I know it's a beer, but I always mix it up with a... Uh, welcome to... Do you have oh, any popping saying? your peas? No. Oh. Uh, wow, I failed hard. What? You see that plane? It mm -hmm. just crashed into the mountain. Whoa. That I was riding on. Man. Now, welcome to... Look at uh, all that smoke. What's the the radio thing? Welcome to... NPR? NPR. There it is. <laughs> dyslexia for both of us. <laughs> is that dyslexia? Uh, PBR, NPR, it's similar. Yeah, it's yeah, a little bit. A little bit. It's Welcome there. to this American life. Jesus Christ. We're gonna get sued. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so you're using your deep NPR voice. Are you gonna, are you introducing the Patreon? Yeah, I mean, are we gonna go there? Absolutely. Okay. And let's talk about our Patreon. <laughs> I, can't, I can't fucking handle it. I gotta. <laughs> Today we're gonna talk about fiction level of patreon yeah so i'm gonna i'm not gonna deal with you anymore uh, I'm gonna, <laughs> uh so with the bad audiobooks is Why can't we, you <laughs> if you go to our patreon if you want to help support this show uh you can go to patreon.com slash bad audiobooks mm -hmm. and there's a bunch of different tiers mm -hmm. uh at different pricing and you get different rewards yes and uh today we want to talk about a particular t and today we'd like to talk about a particular uh tier we're gonna do a little quick dive into the fiction tier our fiction tier is built for everyone to come on in and support this show. It's our lowest level tier. It's, it's our entry level tier. Yes. And uh, to the, the first reward that we have is uh, early access to the show. Uh, up to 48 hours before we re publicly release one of our podcast episodes, we will put it on the Patreon first. And we also give our deep dying appreciation to you at this level. Thank you for giving us your money so we can continue to do this show. Your fucking NPR voice is killing me. Why? Is it too bad? Or? No, I, I, I want you to keep going with it because of how much it's driving me crazy. <laughs> It's giving me <laughs> such a visceral or emotional reaction to him, just like because I'm just more like natural flow. Yeah, I'm just talking about this thing, whatever. And you're, and you're, <laughs> you're in character. And I can't I fucking keep a straight face. Uh, the exclusive activity fee. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, your exclusive. Yeah, we have an. Ex um, he's killing me. The exclusive activity feed. Um, we've got. Uh, we do little blog updates. Uh, you can see a little behind the scenes stuff, like maybe pictures, a uh, little, uh, little qu quips, little things we want to put up there. Uh, little it's funny a posts. Cool whip. Cool whip, whip, cool whip, uh, and it's exclusive to this Patreon. And the only way to get it is at the dollar level. But yeah, that's it's an easy way to jump in, have discussions, and we also do at the dollar level uh, polls that you can participate in. Oh yes, yes. So we, we, just know that at this entry level, it's not a garbage level or anything like that where we just tip our hat or whatever. It's like you get things, it's not just a thank and you get you to level. participate. Yeah, yeah exactly, it's, it's exactly. Your, we want you to participate even at the dollar level. We want, you're you're part of all the of support. All of our patrons have a voice. You get to have one too. At this level. And, and they only get cooler and better as they go up. Yeah, this, this is a the, nice starting the, point. This is the lowest level and entry, but it is it is a part of the... We want you to feel at home. And as a guy who's been at a point where I want to support a show, but it's financially straining to go any higher than a dollar, I don't want anybody feeling left out or whatever. So exactly. I think it's a great uh, amount of stuff for you to enjoy. And also, we get to provide for you. So. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so <clears throat> go check that out. Uh, there's other tiers, but that was... Uh, today, we were talking about the fiction one. Yes. Yes. Uh, I think that's about it for the ads. Why don't you play us back into the, the show? Let us get back to the show. That was the smoke. There we go. <laughs> you definitely have to do this. Okay. If they're going to be talking to each other, I don't want to okay. dialogue myself. Right. Uh, I know how to read, though, just for the record. I, are you sure? I graduated fifth grade just like everybody else. Oh. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad. Well done. It's a great ceremony. Well, let me think about this. Uh, how, how thou old woman is snoring. I must just see if she wants anything. So he went into the room, because he just went to a house for no reason. And when he came to the bed, he saw that the wolf was laying in it, lying in it. Oh, do I find thee here, O thou old sinner, he said. Said he, 
I have long sought thee. That's convenient. Yeah, right? It just He just barged in someone's house after ah! just hearing them snore. Can you imagine if they were actually in trouble? My old enemy. <laughs> we meet again. <laughs> yeah, right? I feel like that's where this is going. Yeah. I can't wait for their epic fight along the cliffs. Uh, or the moors the, or the waterfall. whatever. Well, they're in the forest and this is Germany, so I don't know. Waterfalls? I thought, I thought we were foreshadowing the next series. Oh, yes. There you go. Well done. Thank you. Just then, he was going to fire at him. Because he has a gun. <laughs> it occurred. I come back with heat. <laughs> <laughs> I go strolling well armed. I believe in the Second Amendment. In no <laughs> interpretation I'm in the grandmother's house. I need brothers. I'm protected by the Second Amendment. <laughs> Stand your ground! Stand your ground! <laughs> it occurred to him that he that the wolf might have devoured the grandmother, and that she might still be saved. So he did not fire, but took a pair of scissors and began to cut open the stomach of the sleeping wolf. And when he had made two snips, snip, snip. he saw the little red riding hood shining. And then what? he made two snips more, and the little girl sprang out crying, Ah, how frightened I have been! How dark it was inside the wolf! And after that, Ugh. the aged grandmother came alive also. Came out alive also, but scarcely able to breathe. <laughs> <laughs> Red Riding Hood, however, quickly fetched great stones with which they filled the this wolf's body. CPR? Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Throw more stones on her! They'll recur! They'll Let make her, her breathe! breathe. <laughs> Get the stones! Compress her chest! Permanently! And when he awoke, he wanted to run away. But the stones were so heavy that he fell down at once and fell dead. Ah! Damn. That was easy. Then... <laughs> I think the murder would have done it. Or like just the... <laughs> you mean the, the stabby, the, stabby, snippy snips. The completely un... un Oh my god, what's the word I'm looking for? Autopsy? No, the the, the surgery that required no, it, no, lack of any kind of anesthesia or oh, yeah, 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 or yeah. anesthetic. Yeah, that would also oh, you're do right. it. right. Why have I never thought of the the glaring hole that they put in him? Uh, Stones? And, and covered in moss? The, not having anesthesia. Yeah, and he's just, but he slept through it. It was just that good, apparently. Um, then all three were delighted. <laughs> the huntsman drew off the wolf's skin and went home with it. <laughs> What a nice, what a nice pair of pajamas! The grandmother ate I've the cake. I've been watching this forever. <laughs> so luscious. And the, the grandmother ate the cake. Excuse me. I was gonna say that wolf's fur just just doesn't seem like a thing that you would want, want to seems, snuggle up in. Yeah, I don't think so. But then look at Game of Thrones, man. They make it work. <laughs> they rock those furs. They rock the furs, and it looks good. Peta is just pissing at themselves every time they watch it. <laughs> It's my old enemy. You can't be mad at me. They for just throw red wolf. paint at their TVs all the time, <laughs> and they have to keep buying new TVs <laughs> constantly. Best Buy is like, God damn it, Peter, stop throwing paint on your TVs. Anyway, the huntsman drew off oh, the love wolf's it. skin. Sales are going up. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. They'd be like, hang on. Now Peter friendly. <laughs> and went home with it. The grandmother ate the cake and drank the wine, which Red Riding Hood had brought and revived. But Red Riding Hood thought to herself, as long as I live, I will never live. I will never by myself leave the path to run into the wood when my grandmother, when my mother, when my mother has forbidden me to do so. You would think that that would be the end. No, you you would think that. there are three more paragraphs that are very large, and I'm curious where is the story going. Uh, I feel like this is the uh, return of the king. <laughs> Levels of ending. Ending two begins now. Level two. <laughs> Is it over yet? Nope. They uh, have ten more. Nope, there's twenty more minutes of film. I, I don't know if that's is that joke so good. Does that joke so register? Yeah, I don't know yeah, anymore. Yeah. It won't count. Maybe more. I'm just yeah, you know, you know, one always relevant. Yeah, it, it, <laughs> it won a Academy Award. Probably more. We can't think of these things right now. Why isn't this paragraph indented? Why are anything the way that anything is in the story? <laughs> uh, it is also related that once Red, when Red Riding Hood was again ta- taking cakes to the old grandmother, another wolf spoke to her. What? And tried to entice her from the path. Red Look Riding Hood. Look at all these flowers. I think <laughs> could have a good time out here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Red Riding Hood, however, was on her guard. She's learned, unlike Snow White, and went straight forward on her way and told her grandmother that when she met the wolf, and that he had said good, good morning. morning to her, but with such a wicked look in his eyes. 
damn that if they had not been on the public road she would certainly have been eaten yeah he certainly would have eaten her up i don't murder on public roads (laughs) i have a conscience (laughs) by god i have standards how dare you (laughs) i have standards madam good day anyway go ahead Um, i'll be the grandmother for what you are the grandmother i am yes you've been the grandmother are we sure? No. I was the grandmother. Ha! Ah! Damn it. Well. Well. I'll be here now. Be, go for it. She's been reborn through the, Said, gut, the gut of the wolf. Yeah, exactly. Her voice changed. Just a little tra- trauma and all that. Well, Said the grandmother. We will shut the door that he may not come in. Soon afterwards, the wolf knocked and cried. Open the door, grandmother! I am Little Red Riding Hood! And I am fetching you some cakes! How does this wolf know the whole shtick? Anyway. But they I've did- got your social security number! <laughs> <laughs> I'm, 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 I need to make some credit card purchases! I'm Little Red Riding Hood, can you help me? But they did not speak. Or open the door. So the gray beard stole twice, and, or thrice. Stro- What's stole? on the back of your credit card? What's the CVV? <laughs> And right around the house, and at last jumped on the roof, intending to wait until Red Riding Hood went home in the evening, and when to steal after her and devour her in the darkness. But when the grandmother saw that he was in his thoughts, in front of the house was a great stone trough. Yeah, saw what was in his thoughts. The fuck? Yeah, I, don't know. I have I telepathy now. Oh my god! My powers. She have has the third awakened. eye. <laughs> the wolf's gut has manifested my third eye. <laughs> Hang on. I'm the three-eyed wolf. So she so she called so she said to the child Take the pail, Red Riding Hood. I made some sausages yesterday. <laughs> so carry the water in which I boiled them to the trough. You hot know, dog water? Because hot dog water <laughs> that was boiling. 24 hours ago, still maintains its heat. <laughs> is that where this is going? Is that where the, it, We're going to use the hot dog water to cr- poison him. Clearly, thermodynamics was not invented yet. It talked about. <laughs> no, it wasn't at in- all. invented yet. <laughs> <laughs> How did fire work? How did make anything? <laughs> Red Riding Hood carried until the great <laughs> trough was filled. I can't wait to then see Then the, the smell talking. of sausages reached the wolf. Oh my god, yes! And he sausages! sniffed and he sniffed and peeped down and at last stretched out his neck so far oh. that he could no longer keep his footing and began to slip and slipped down from the roof straight into the great trough and was drowned. I thought he was going to hit the ground but, and die, but it's drowning. I don't know how to get out of water. I can't stand in 3 feet of water. This trough is 3 feet deep. <laughs> But I red mean, they riding say the drowning can happen in less than a foot of water. I know it's true, but if you're under your own volition, I mean, and an adult mammal, <laughs> maybe it's <laughs> fully able-bodied. <laughs> yeah, how, bi- how, how big and deep is this trough? It's like a moat. The hot dog water creates a tension, surface tension that won't let you come back up. It's like quicksand. <laughs> but Red Riding Hood went. Jeal- joylessly, joy- joylessly, joyously, joyously, joy- joyously, joyously. Thank you, joyously. Home and did nothing, did and never did anything to harm anyone, except, except kill that wolf. Except for all the wolves, murdering all of them, <laughs> mercilessly. The and yeah, that was a book we read or a story we read. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it was a little bit better than the previous ones. Um. It still had that lack of logic, or oh, yeah. skipping completely over logic. At least she didn't wind up marrying the Huntsman. Oh my god, you're right. We are she, really breaking the trend yeah. on the... And now she was married The matriarchy to the was reigning hard in this one, because in her brain she's like, I can't leave the trail! It was a grandma... And a, a mom. Mur- uh, that had telepathy. Yeah. That was a murderer. Yeah. A mom, yeah, the matriarchy And the mom knew what she was like, talking about. She was like, don't leave the path! Yeah, I got some good advice. Too and, much advice, but yeah. it's good. No, there was a lot of instruction, but clearly her daughter needed it. Because <laughs> she ignored it. Yeah, utterly, 100% ignored Listen, it. You, you, when you go swim, uh-huh. make sure your head goes above the water. Oh, okay. Because you'll drown. Oh, is that what happened last time? I don't remember. Now, this is my third attempt at a job. <laughs> and yes, the previous two didn't work out so well. 
Does she wait until they drown and go, well, I gotta make another one? Ah. <laughs> she hasn't tried to stockpile this stuff. She's not a member from Costco, <laughs> buy them in bulk or anything like that. Nope. Okay. No, she's a, she she's a, <clears throat> waits for the consequences of her action to come full circle kind of girl. Uh, any place to check out this podcast where, where people go to? You I mean, can, you're already listening. You've already found it. You can so. find this podcast on your preferred platform of choice. There Hopefully it's on one that you like. Oh, oh the, that's what it should be. Uh, what is it? Like and subscribe. And, yeah, like uh, and subscribe. Like and subscribe and, uh, and rate us. Yes. Let us know what you think and uh, tell everybody you know because I hope you're enjoying it Review. enough that's to tell people Review that. Us. Huh? Review. That's what it is. Okay. Review, it's Review us. You know, we're learning this on the fly here, ladies and gentlemen. We no are editing. not professional we podcasts. We not Contrary to what you might think, we are not professionals at all on this podcast platform. Nope.